In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bubble plot just like this one by using Microsoft Excel. So let's get straight into it. Before diving into Excel, let me briefly explain what a bubble plot is. A bubble plot is a type of scatter plot where two variables are plotted against each other with a third variable being used to signify the size of the dots, known as bubbles in this case. In this example, life expectancy is plotted against the average income of a select group of countries. The size of the bubbles in this case correspond to the size of the country's population, where the larger the bubble, the larger the population. So now you know what a bubble plot is, let's jump into Excel and create one. In my Excel sheet, I already have my example data. The first column lists the 10 different countries of interest. In column B, I have the average income in GDP per capita. Note whatever is in this first column will be plotted on the x-axis. In column C, I have the average life expectancy in years. Data in this column will be plotted on the y-axis. And in column D, I have the population for that country. And data in this column will be used to determine the size of the bubbles. At the very end, I also have a column showing the continent of each country. This data will not be plotted on the graph, but will be used to help me determine the color of my bubbles at the end. Okay, so to create the bubble plot, I will highlight all of the data I am interested in plotting. In this case, the data is in columns B, C, and D. Then I will go to insert, and then I'll select the insert scatter or bubble chart icon. There are two variations of a bubble plot that you can create, either a 2D or a 3D plot. I'm going to select the 2D plot for this example. So now we have our initial graph, but it needs a bit of tweaking. I'll firstly sort out my axes, starting with adjusting the starting point of the x-axis. As you can see here, the x-axis begins at negative 10,000 for some strange reason. To adjust the axes, select it, and then right click on it. In the menu, select the former axis option. Doing so should open the former axis sidebar to the right. Under the axis options header, I will change the minimum bounds value to zero. And I'll also change the maximum value to 70,000 instead. So that looks a lot better now. I may also adjust where the Y axis begins as there is a lot of white space here. So I'll click on it and change the minimum bound to 50. Next, let's add some titles to the axes so the reader can understand what the data represents. To do this, select the graph and then go to the chart design ribbon at the top, then add chart element, axes titles, and then select a desired option. The x-axis in this case is income, GDP per capita in dollars. In other words, the average yearly income a person in that country makes. I'll also repeat the steps to add a y-axis title. In this case, this represents the life expectancy in years. Finally, I'll delete my graph title as I don't really need this. Moving on, let me show you how to adjust the bubble sizes. To do this, right click on the bubbles in the graph and select Format Data Series. In the sidebar to the right, you will see an option that states Size Represents. Currently, the data for the population in my case represents the area of the bubbles. However, you can change this to the width of the bubbles if you like. I'm going to leave the option set to Area. Another useful thing you can do in these options is to adjust the scale value. This is currently set to 100. If you reduce this value, all the bubbles will reduce in size accordingly. And the opposite will happen if you increase the scale. Again, I'm going to leave this set at 100. Next, let me show you how to add data labels to the bubbles. To do this, select the graph and then go to chart design, add chart element, data labels, and then select the more data label options. In the sidebar to the right, select the label options button, and then expand the label options. At the minute, the data labels added to the graph represents the y-axis values, the life expectancy in my case. However, I want the labels to represent the country names, which are listed in my spreadsheet. So to change the label to a value from a cell, I will select this first option. Then I'll click the up arrow, and highlight the country names. With those selected, I will click the down arrow and then OK. With the country names now added, I will untick the Y value and show leader lines option. 
To change where the labels are positioned, you can select an option here. I will choose the center position as a starting point. You can also manually adjust the labels on the graph by clicking on them and dragging them to a new location. I'll just tweak all of my labels off camera so not to bore you with this process. With the labels now added, let me show you how to change the bubble appearance, such as the colour. Let's say I want to recolor the bubbles according to the continent the country is based in. So for all Asian countries, I will recolor these red. To change the colour of a single bubble, double click on it. You should see that only that bubble is selected. If you do a single click instead, you would select all of the bubbles, which I don't want. Then to change the colour, go to Format, Shape Fill, and then select the desired colour. I will choose red in this instance. You can also do a similar thing with the bubble outline. To change this colour, go to the shape outline and then select the desired colour. I'll go ahead and recolor all of my bubbles according to their content. The last change in appearance I like to do with graphs in Excel is to make the axes more visible and adding tick marks. I'll demonstrate this with the Y axis. Simply select the axis and then in the former axis sidebar, select the fill in line symbol and then change the colour of the line. I like to use black. I also increase the width of the line to say 1.5 points. To add tick marks, switch to the axes options and then select tick marks. Then I usually add the major type to the outside. It's then a case of repeating these steps for the x-axis. And there we have the finished product. You now know how to create a bubble plot by using Microsoft Excel. If you found this video useful, please leave a like, it really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.